Hi, I'm Sloan. Welcome to my channel. Today, I'm going to be answering freshman fear questions. I'm just going to be answering questions that like I had going into high school because I'm going to be a sophomore, which is actually insane because I look 12. I see it too. I have no way to look my age. I'm gonna be a sophomore and going into freshman year, I was pretty nervous for the whole high school thing. Where should I start? I was really scared about getting lost in the building because I had never been in the building that the high schoolers were in before. Pretty much we had orientation before school like actually started. I don't know if there's like a way for you to like see your classes before you actually have to like go to your classes because of COVID and stuff. Pretty much to prepare every single year, I would write down my schedule, my periods, my teachers, and the number outside the room. The first day I couldn't find the bathroom either. I had to ask my science teacher where the bathroom was but just ask the teachers especially if you're a freshman they'll tell you where to go you don't really have to worry about getting lost that much especially if you find out which friends are in your classes beforehand and if you know which classroom number each room you're going to is so just like have a piece of paper with you that says which room you're in for every class the thing that i was most afraid of and i think a lot of freshmen are scared of is the upperclassmen I was so scared, literally so scared. There's literally no reason. I remember the first week, it was always scary to like walk by people. And then it didn't even matter. That's the thing that's so scary at first. But I promise you, they're like nice people. You really don't have to worry about that. Making friends. This wasn't a super hard thing for me. I hope there's a plug in my light bulb because I've been going to my school for a while. I wasn't new or anything. Making friends, especially like as a freshman, I don't think it will be that hard because we're all new to the building. I feel like freshman year, there are a lot of new people anyway because it's a year to like bring people into the high school. There are already a lot of new people and we're all in a new building, so we're all scared. Just find the nice people. But just go with like who you think you'd end up being friends with. Not having anyone to sit with at lunch. If you're new, once again, it's okay. I think all the freshmen are really scared, especially have like a lunch period with older kids you don't want to take anyone's seat or anything like that just ask other freshmen ask to sit with them no one's gonna be like no no one's gonna say no and if they say no then go ask someone else because no one's gonna say no you'll have someone to sit with at lunch just ask whoever you think seems nice and welcoming homework from middle school to upper school there was a huge step up in homework i feel like from seventh to eighth grade there was a big step up and then from eighth to ninth there was a big step up i think the biggest tip for me was literally every single time you have free time, do homework. Like in advisory, I always do homework. In after school, I always try to do homework. I know I have so much and I know I have dancing and stuff. So you're just gonna have to find like little holes of time to fit in homework and just get it done. Finally, I was worried about the tests and studying for the test, I guess. I feel like the first test of every single year is always the hardest because you never know what your teacher's like and what their test style is. I don't know, I feel like every teacher kind of has like a different test style. And then after that, I usually like to study according to how those tests looked. So for like history, this year I really, really took clear, clear notes and like wrote everything down. I wrote so many notes, but I knew if I wrote down those notes, I could go back and study them. What I would do is I would go back and read the notes like half a page at a time and pretty much make the story in my head and then like recite each section. I would go back and then summarize the whole thing. Pretty much what I was trying to say is history is like a story so you have to like understand the storyline and like summarize it in your head. And if I missed a detail in any section, I go back and star it and then I'd recite the whole thing again. But not like memory, just like the story has to make sense in your head. I drew a ton of pictures, or language I guess, write everything down. Oh, English? It was mostly like essays and stuff. But for English, do you actually need to read the book? I don't know, just read the book. Like you actually need to read the book. Oh my gosh, for math, I would literally redo whole homework assignments, whole 
study guides. I just redo literally everything. Math is really like practice. Okay, that's all I have for freshman fears. That's pretty much what I was really nervous about. So you just kind of have to like go with it. It's scary. Like the first day, I don't know why I was so nervous because everything ended up fine. If you have any other questions or fears or whatever, you can put them in the comments. I don't know if like that's a thing in other schools, but as a freshman, I literally didn't go to my locker once. Oh, also our school is even going back because of Corona. Bye, have a great year. Oh, I post every Saturday and Wednesday. Bye.